Hello and welcome to this video in the series of videos of how you as an advocate or someone in your office can navigate through the platform for the 24-7 on courts. This is the fourth video in the series in which we will be covering how you can do the correction of defects. In this video, what will be covered is how you can correct the defects marked by the court staff, how you can correct the defects marked by the judge, and how you can submit the case file post marking of these defects and their correction. What we will also cover is how the file can be submitted via the flow of uploading the signature of both the parties. Let us get right into it. First, post the submission of the case file, it will go to the court staff for scrutiny. In case they mark defects and send the case file back, you will be able to see it in your pending task panel on the right as discussed in the video for the home screen. You can scroll down to view it and you will see a pending task to correct file errors. You can also filter for it in task type. Click on this to open the case. You will be able to see any of the flags that have been marked by the court staff. Navigate to view these you will see the section in which how many errors are marked. Here, for example, the pay bank name on the bank branch needs to be corrected. Once this has been corrected, you can also view the next error or any other error that might exist. Note that the entire section of the debt liability details has been marked as a defect because no proof has been provided. In this case, upload that documentation. Now, also see if there are any other defects. Notice that the proof of dispatch has been marked as blurry. So delete this document and then you can re-upload it. Once all of the defects throughout the file have been corrected, you can once again navigate to review and sign. In the review page, click on the next button to proceed. You will see a warning message sharing that once you submit, you will not be able to edit the case file again. Click on confirm. Then you can choose to either e-sign like we saw in the filing flow in the previous video or you can choose to upload a signed copy of the complaint. In case you choose to upload the signed copy of the complaint, select on this option and you will be redirected to the preview page. Here you will be able to see the complaint and download it. Download it onto your device as the case name. Then Yourself sign it and also get the litigant to verify all details and sign it. Then re upload the signed copy onto the system. Then click on the submit signature button to confirm, and the complaint view will be updated with the signed copy you have shared. The status will be uploaded and updated to signed. You can then submit the case. Note that in the case of defect correction, no payment will have to be made again. Now, first the case will go back along with the complaint to the court staff for the review again and then to the judge. Note that if the judge marks a defect, it will once again show up in the pending task. However, if the defect has been marked by the judge, it will show up on the left corner as the judge's remarks. This can be reviewed and this, uh, then action can be taken in the relevant section. For example, here the judge has requested to review the PIN code of the accused, navigate to the accused details and update the PIN code as required. Once the change has been made, you can once again proceed to review and sign. Review whether the change is reflecting and then click on next to proceed and submit. The submission process remains the same as in the case of resubmitting post FSO marked defects. The complaint will now go to the FSO and then again to the judge. 
With that, we complete this video on defect correction. Thank you. In the next video, we will be covering how you can view your case that has been submitted.